Welcome back to the morning show. Time for food facts with registered dietitian Laura Jacob. Good morning. Good morning. Well, today we're making a healthy alternative to a traditional dish. Tell us what that is. Uh, it is pineapple sweet potato casserole. So okay. it's a lot lower in fat and calories than the traditional sweet potato casserole. And it's pretty tasty. Yeah, because most of the time when you think of sweet potato casserole, it's probably loaded with sugar. Yeah, but that's how grandma makes it, right? Yeah, yeah, which is tasty. But this is tasty and sweet as well. Okay. All right. So how are we going to do it? Um, so you you have uh, you bake your uh, sweet potatoes ahead of t I would bake them the day before about three pounds of sweet potatoes in about a 400 degree oven about 45 minutes depending mm -hmm. on you got to kind of check them throughout to, so they don't get overly cooked because then they'll turn to mush but um, then you peel and dice them up into bite-sized pieces and then you would add um, two cans of crushed pineapple with the juice okay and that's three whole pounds of sweet potato right yes three pounds yes gotcha. thank you um, so two of those. Uh, the juice added. Yep. Yeah, and that really helps to sweeten it. Um, uh, four teaspoons of butter-flavored sprinkles, which is kind of a lower fat, lower calorie alternative to butter. Sure. And so it tastes buttery. So it's it's this it's this right here, mm -hmm. which is so it's healthier for using butter, but it tastes almost the same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can't and believe it's not butter. Right? Good. Good for popcorn as well. Yeah. Um, and then a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. And. Um, and that'll add some nice flavor in there. Yeah. All right. Uh, a third of a cup of chopped pecans. Okay, it goes right and in there. And then you just mix it up and put it in your um, kind of a sprayed sure. uh, two and a half quart casserole. So really, you just put all this into one bowl. You don't need to. You don't need to mess up a whole bunch of dishes doing this. No, which I love very yeah. much. Um, <laughs> super easy. Yep. And then you just pour it in there and kind of even it out. Um, top it with a little fun, a cup of mini marshmallows. Because why not? Yeah, so it, it doesn't add a lot yeah, of calories or sugar. Um, makes it kind of pretty, and then you bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You might cover it with foil so the marshmallows don't brown too quickly and they kind of get melty. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And this is the so this is the finished product over here. Mm -hmm. This is still warm. It feels like it just came out. Um, and so this really is going to taste pretty similar to what you're used to having, but it's a lot healthier for you, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, compared to a 250-calorie, 12-gram of fat traditional sweet potato casserole, this one is about 150 calories and 2 grams of fat. So we're cutting, we're cutting it like in... It's only that's only a fraction of it. I thought yeah. we were just cutting it in half. That's like much much less. Yeah, it's it's really good, um, and also high in vitamin A, uh, vitamin C, potassium. Sure. And this would be when would be the best time of year to really consider something like this? Well, I think it's a nice holiday dish. Yeah. So yeah. it's a it's a great time of year for that. All right, wonderful. And all and all we did was just throw everything in the bowl, mix it together, and then bake it. It was that simple. Yeah, that simple. I like to bake the sweet potatoes the day before to save oven space that day. Very good. There's always so many things in the oven, but. Sure. Fantastic. All right, Laura, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, coming up, we have more Friday Jams on the morning show. Stay with us.